Hey guys, this has been Silver Nine. As the next video in this Stone 3 suggestion video series, I want to talk about the environmental circumstances one is to be defined within in the Storm series. And I want CyberConnect 2 to take the next step on the ladder regarding regarding the, the request of improving the overall experience when playing. So the next thing I would see as something very important and perhaps very uh, vital to have in the upcoming Storm games is destructible environment and the associated environmental effects. Now, considering what CyberConnect 2 has performed of outstanding features in the Storm games with the story modes, this particular subject is something very easy to understand, alone by gameplay footage from the previous Storm games. By destructible environment, I mean an environment that changes according to the match the players are having. These changes should not just be temporarily like we see with the techniques be being performed by Sakura and Sonate, those effects are only up for a short amount of time before they quickly vanish again. So what I'm talking about is that the changes should be, or should rather have a more permanent effects on the stage you find on. A very nice example of how things can be like is the first boss battle uh, you have in Storm 2 where you are fighting as Naruto with Sakura against Kakashi. Now, during that match, the environment changes because Sakura at one point performs a massive punch against Kagashi, which crushes the ground beneath them as you see here. Notice how the environment changes according to that. A new stage was created, thus making it more dynamical and interesting. Now, the destructible environment I'm asking for is as simple as you see it right now. What I love about this particular boss battle map is that the environment changes according to what techniques are being performed on you and where you are uh, when they are being performed on you. So what I'm suggesting here is that we should have these environmental elements in the regular versus mode as well, since it offers so much more to the awesome experience when playing the regular versus mode. And as I see it, it creates a stronger connection between the regular versus mode and the story mode. So again, what I'm suggesting is destructible environment with elements that can be destroyed along the way, which causes a permanent change or permanent changes on the environment in the matches. I also want CyberConnect2 to consider creating maps that have different stages they go through depending on how the matches are turning out, just like the Kakashi bus battle. It doesn't necessarily have to be much dramatically changes as we see in that particular boss battle when Sakura performs the groundbreaking punch, but it could also be that certain spots on the map that gets revealed when you smash something, so that the stages by time expand in small degrees to enhance the visual feedback when you fight. The best part of this suggestion is the visual effects that are associated with the possibility of having destructible environment. To me, this part is very, very important. Why? It's a simple question about incorporating those nice graphical effects into the regular versus mode from the story mode. When people buy the Storm games, it's essentially for the epic boss battles which I have gotten the picture of a long time ago. So, by trying to incorporate the same visual effects from the story mode into the regular versus mode, we will have the best of the best effects there ever will be, perhaps. From there, I'm pretty sure that there won't be any request of enhancing the graphics engine at all, because the graphics are very simple and they don't require as much power to generate as you would think by the consoles. Furthermore, it's a question about expanding the visual effects and the conditions so that they last longer. A good argument to justify this request is by looking at the ultimate jutsus that are in Storm 1. As far as I know and am concerned is that people are desperate and perhaps even dying to get those long ultimates back into the game series. 
Why? Because they bring such great visual feedback and experience combined when playing. So if we take these nice effects and take them more into play, meaning that they will happen more often and that they get to exist for longer periods of time, then I'm sure that the regular versus mode will have as just as much meaning for players as the epic boss battles. It makes sense if you think about it. The Storm games are about the massive and epic boss battles, and so by incorporating this lovely element into the regular versus mode, we surely get to have and experience the full potential of the Storm series. If you like this particular video with my suggestions for Storm 3 and upcoming Storm games, you can go ahead and link the video to CyberConnect2 on their Twitter and Facebook. I can rest you assured that CyberConnect2 are indeed listening to the fans, otherwise wouldn't have the sub bar, or otherwise wouldn't have been getting the nerf on sorcery on all other bunch of uh, mechanics in the game. So yeah, I can rest you assured that they are listening and as you can see here, I have been contacting them as well by Twitter and I have also been writing to them through their suggestion forum or suggestion page as it's called. Um, so yeah, they take notes of everything they get to and they pass it on to the development team. And so from there, what we only can do is, is praying for that they will incorporate what we've been suggesting to them. It's a very fragile subject since um, they, at one hand, listening to very specific details uh, and suggestions, um, and the fact is that the fact is that they don't like getting spammed with uh, messages, uh, but at the same time they they like to see if the majority of people like certain ideas and thoughts. So, if you feel like it, you can send this video and the other videos that I'm going to make to CyberConnect too. So. You too let uh, them know that uh, Spencer09 is not the only one that's uh, going on around with uh, these sort of thoughts and ideas for upcoming Storm games. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part.